find yourself. When confronted with the true gospel, crying feverishly to justify the sin you're in or the sin that you practice. Acts 17, 30 says, In the times of this ignorance, God went up, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Hallelujah. Why? Because the hour is now upon us. Because he has appointed a day in which we will judge the world in righteousness. He's not going to judge it according to your whole spun form. He's not going to judge it according to what you thought was right in your own eyes. He's going to judge it according to the righteousness of his word. The books will be opened. Your name will either be in the last book of life or it won't. You were either born again or you weren't. You were either converted or you're not. You either serve God or you don't. You're either righteous or you're not. See, people don't like to hear that. It's too absolute. But say eternal judgment is the most absolute thing you can count on. I can guarantee you this. You may die before the second coming of Christ Jesus, but you will stand before him. All of us will. Yes. And in that day, how you lived your life, it will designate how you will live somewhere for all eternity. Right. Either in hell for all sinners, or life everlasting with Christ Jesus. Yes. That is the gospel. You can give yes. God some glory for that. Yes. 1 Corinthians 15 says, Be not deceived. Evil relationships with the world corrupt good, good morals. That's right. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Which one are you this morning? Which one are you this morning? Romans 2 7 says, To them who by patient continuance and well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious, we contend against the gospel. We do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation, and anger upon over every soul of man. Let me ask you a question this morning. Pastor comes here to get talk. Can you this moment contend for the souls of men in the gospel? Can you contend? Are you willing? Or are you doing it? Fighting the fight of faith in this war of words and ideas that is finally washed up. Jesus said in Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. series that's coming up is going to equip you. Amen. Amen. It's going to equip you. Hallelujah. And I promise you there won't be a question that can be asked you in the street or on your job or your family that you won't have an answer by the word of God. Not an opinion. Not a self-made formula. The righteousness of God will stand. Amen. Bow your heads and close your You know that's you. And you say, Pastor, I called myself a Christian for a long time. But I really don't know that I can contend for the gospel. I find myself trying to justify my own sin, and the fear of God is nowhere in play. And this word that you've spoken to me has made my heart tremble this morning. And that's you, just slip your hand. Thank you. Remember I said, God has a plan. 
Let's pray. Say, Father God, Father, Father God, God, I want to contend, I want I want to contend, to contend for the faith, for the faith of the Christ and Savior. Christ Christ and Savior. Savior. Forgive me. Forgive me. For marginalizing, for marginalizing, for marginalizing the God of my salvation. The God of my salvation. In his gospel. I want a relationship. I want to know that you're real. I want to know that you're real. I want to know that my heart is clean. I want to know that my heart is clean. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. Because only you can forgive my sin. Because only you can forgive my sin. Because only I can repent from it. I turn away, Lord. I want you back. I want you back. That's the Lord. As Lord, as the God of my life, as the God of my life, Lord, I thirst, Lord, I thirst for the fear of the Lord, for the fear of the Lord, keeps my heart holy, keeps my heart pure, pure, righteous, righteous, because you are holy, because you are holy, because you are righteous, because you are righteous, and you don't lie, you don't lie, I receive your forgiveness, I receive your forgiveness, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, you got the glory.